Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing a recipe that was recently sent to me by my very good friend T-Ray whom I collaborate with every Tuesday night over on his channel. We have a lot of fun playing video games together and what you may not know about him is that he is a secret baking ninja on the weekends in his very own kitchen and he does occasionally share pictures of his creations with me and when I saw this one I knew I had to make it. So we're going to be making T-Ray's Triple Threat Double Chocolate Chip Cookies today. It does look like a lot of ingredients, but it's really not once you get into them and start breaking them down. We're going to start off with our cookies. We'll need one cup of flour, a half of a cup of cocoa powder, two-thirds cup of packed brown sugar, and a third of a cup of granulated sugar, half of a teaspoon of baking soda, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, half of a cup of room temperature butter, one egg, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, and two ounces of dark chocolate. I'm using a 60% cacao this time, but you could go as far up as like a 70%. I think that would be good also. And we'll also need one cup of chocolate chips. Now I'm using milk chocolate chips today, but you could certainly use semi-sweet or dark chocolate chips here. That's totally up to you. For the first icing, actually those are all the ingredients for the cookies. For our first icing, we're going to be making a peanut butter icing, starting with a half of a cup of creamy peanut butter, half of a cup of confectionery sugar, plus a pinch of salt, two and a half tablespoons of room temperature butter, 40 milliliters or two tablespoons plus two teaspoons of room temperature heavy cream, and a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then for our final two ingredients, we're going to be making a chocolate ganache icing using four ounces of, I'm using milk chocolate, you could use a semi-sweet here, and a half of a cup of heavy cream. These are all of our ingredients, so let's get some of this stuff moved out of the way. And I'm actually going to start by chopping up two ounces of my dark chocolate and getting it melted in the microwave. Now that I've got my chocolate all melted up, let's go ahead and mix our dry ingredients together. Go ahead and add my flour and cocoa powder into my bigger bowl along with my salt and my baking soda. And these just need gently whisked together just so they're well combined. Now that I have my flour all combined together, I've gone ahead and added my butter and my chocolate which I melted in the microwave on 15 second intervals for about 60 seconds until it was completely melted. And now I'm going to add in my sugars, my brown sugar and my granulated sugar and I'm going to cream these for about the two minutes with my hand mixer. After about two minutes it should look light brown and fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and add in my vanilla extract and my egg. And then these are just going to get mixed together until they're completely combined. Now that that's mixed in I'm going to add half of my flour mixture and just stir this in by hand. Ooh, that was pretty loud. <laughs> now that I have the first part of the flour in, I'm going to go ahead and add in my remainder and then I'll use my hand mixer to mix in the rest of those. The last thing I'm doing is uh, gently mixing in all of my little chocolate chips and again I'm using the milk chocolate here but you are certainly welcome to use like a dark chocolate or a semi-sweet here if you wanted to. Alright, well this is looking pretty good. I do want to make sure I get those chocolate chips throughout all of that batter there. We don't want any skimpy little chocolate chip areas. And uh, that looks pretty good. Looks like I've got chocolate chips through all of my dough there. So now I'm going to take a 1 4th cup measure and I'm going to scoop out 1 4th cup scoops of our cookie dough. Put it over here on my plate. Make sure we don't lose any of that lovely cookie dough. You should get roughly 9 to 10 cookies out of this uh, batch. I've ended up with a 10 little balls of cookie dough. Now these need to chill because if we tried to cook these right now they would just melt and be sad little threats all over our pan. So you can either pop this into your refrigerator for about 2 hours until all those um, butters and stuff start solidifying again or if you're short on time like I am you can do it for a quarter of the time 
in the freezer. So I'm going to pop these in my freezer for about 30 minutes and then we'll get them out and get them baked off. After two hours in the refrigerator, or in my case, a half an hour in my freezer, your dough balls, or your cookie balls, I should say, should be nice and firm. And we're going to place these about three inches apart on a cookie sheet. I'll probably just put five on each one here. Now, if some yeah. of your cookie dough is stuck to your plate, or whatever you've placed it on, just scrape it off with a little knife and put it right back on the bottom and continue on putting them on your cookie sheets. These are going to go into a 350 degree preheated oven for about 12 to 14 minutes or just until the tops of the cookies have started to set. I've taken the cookies out of the oven and I've got them cooling over here on a wire rack. Now these did take about 18 minutes before the top started to set. So just be aware you may need to adjust your cooking times. But while they are cooling, I'm going to go ahead and start making our peanut butter icing. I'm going to start by putting my butter and my peanut butter into a bowl. And then I'm going to cream these together for about two minutes. Once you have your peanut butter and butter creamed together, add in your pinch of salt and the confectionery sugar. The vanilla extract, I had to think what that was for a minute, and a little bit of our heavy cream. I'm going to start with about half of it. Right now, this is looking a little bit looser than what I want it to. So I'm going to go ahead and add in another two tablespoons of confectionery sugar and I'll see what that does for me. I'm hoping this will thicken it up just a little bit. This is looking to be a little bit more of the consistency that I'm looking for. So I'm going to cream this all together for about three minutes. I've got my peanut butter icing all done and, and now it's time to move on to our chocolate ganache. I've gone ahead and chopped up my milk chocolate pieces and I've heated my heavy cream up for about 45 seconds in the microwave. It's a really hot day today so it doesn't really need to be all that hot. The residual heat is going to help melt our chocolate which is already soft. Like I said, it's pretty hot in my kitchen right now, so it shouldn't take very long for this to melt. After a minute or two, your chocolate should be melted, which this is completely melted, so I just need to stir this together until that heavy cream is well incorporated with our melted chocolate. Alright, I'm going to pop this in my refrigerator for about five minutes, just so it starts to set up a little bit. I don't want it too set, but I definitely want it a little bit thicker than what it is right now. Gone ahead and removed the chocolate ganache from the refrigerator and it's time to get these iced. I went ahead and put my peanut butter icing in a piping bag, but you don't need to. If you want to just spoon it on, feel free. We're just going to put a nice little dollop of this peanut butter icing right in the center of each one of our cookies. And the last thing to do is to drizzle some of our chocolate ganache right over the top of these. I've got all of our T-Ray Triple Threat Double Chocolate Chip Kikis completely iced up. Now, like I said, it is really warm in here, so my chocolate ganache icing is not quite setting up exactly the way I want it to. But these are still going to taste delicious, so let's get in here and try one of these babies out. I want to make sure I get some of that icing and all that goodness there. This is an absolutely incredible chocolate chip cookie. A little bit crispy right around the edges, just the way I like it, yet soft and chewy in the center. That peanut butter icing is not too sweet and a perfect accompaniment to our chocolate chip cookie. And I do like the chocolate ganache, even though it didn't quite set up exactly the way I wanted it to. But uh, that is going to be it for me for the day. Please be sure to go and check out my good friend T. Ray over on his channel. I will be leaving a link down in the description to him. If you have enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turned out for you. And as always, thank y'all so very much for joining me today. I've been Volker. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.